I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to graph polar equation and this is a very interesting example where you get heart kind of a shape and we call it cardioid. The question here is to graph the equation r equals to 1 minus sine theta. Now r is a function of theta so we normally also refer to this as f of theta equals to 1 minus sine theta. Correct? Now we will see the steps involved to plot the graph of this particular equation. So whenever you are working with polar equations, it is not really necessary to convert them to rectangular equations. It is sometimes much much simpler to sketch from the polar equations and you will appreciate it with this particular video. right? So, so important thing to note is that you don't really have to convert polar equations to rectangular equations as we did in some of our videos initially. That was because uh, you understand rectangular equations better. So it was kind of linking you with the equation part, right? But as we move on, we will rather convert rectangular equations into polar to sketch their graphs. So you'll see those examples also since this is much simpler especially when we are dealing with curved figures, right? Okay, so we'll graph this equation r equals to 1 minus sine theta. Steps involved. First, look for symmetry. Very important, right? So first step is look for symmetry. We have talked about three kinds of symmetries to start with. Let me summarize this. We have three kinds of symmetries and uh, those three are, as you know, if f of minus theta is equals to f of theta in that case it is symmetric about polar axis right so this is about polar axis and if f of pi minus theta equals to f of theta then it is symmetric about the y axis and if f of pi plus theta is equals to f of theta then we have a pole symmetry is it okay? So, so these are the three symmetries which you have learned about. Now for most of the functions when you start with you have to check all these. Now I have very limited space and uh, I will do what kind of a shortcut at times but you should check for all three symmetries and then proceed. It helps since once we know the symmetry we will be working with limited number of points right. So that is very important limited number of points and that helps right now. So so for a sine function we know it is kind of an odd function right. So this f of minus theta equals to f of theta will not really work. So if I write minus theta here so well let me show you okay so we'll do a couple of them okay I thought I'll skip it so unless anyway f of minus theta will be so I'm using this equation since it becomes simpler to work with and you understand the function notation, right? R is a function of theta. That's the whole thing. So f theta is more than minus sine theta. Same equation in function notation. So f of minus theta is replace theta with minus. So it is 1 minus sine of minus theta, which is 1. And that minus is minus sine theta. So that makes it 1 plus sine theta. And you know it is not equals to f of theta. Is that okay? So that means we do not have uh, this particular polar axis symmetry, right? Now let me try out the next one, which is f of pi minus theta, okay? So that means f of pi minus theta is 1 minus sine of replace theta with pi minus theta, right? So, so when you do that, uh, what do you get? Well, some of you can quickly do it with the information you have is, uh, you know, those in trigonometry. So we have to recall what we learned in trigonometry, right? Theta, let's say this is theta. So pi minus theta means you are in this position. Is that okay? So this is pi minus theta, this is theta. So you see sine values are exactly same, right? Both are positive, correct? They're kind of exactly same. So we know that this is with this is same. So it is 1 minus sine theta. Well, some of you can apply the compound angle formula, right? So I'll use that one for the time being just to remind you that you may have to go through some of the trigonometric relations, especially compound angle ones, which you learn. So this is, uh, let me expand this. It is sine pi cos theta 
minus cos pi sine theta is it okay so that is the compound angle formula and then you say 1 minus what is sine pi well sine pi if you draw the sine curve let me draw a sine curve here kind of like this right so sine pi is 0 is it okay sine pi is 0 so this term is 0 for us since this term is 0 so we get 0 here and what is cos pi cos pi if you draw then you get cos pi as minus 1 right so cos pi is minus 1 so we get minus of uh, minus 1 times sine theta is that okay so that gives you 1 minus sine theta when you open this up so that means our function is symmetric about y axis is that okay so we have found a symmetry and that is about y axis is it okay so that is the symmetry which which it works with so we'll continue with this part so what we have concluded that this is the polar axis the function is not symmetric about polar axis however it is symmetric about uh, this let me draw a light line here over the highlighter okay so it is symmetric about this now since it is symmetric about the y-axis which points should we consider right we don't have to consider from 0 to 2 pi right it is symmetric about y that means we could consider points from if you go counterclockwise it is minus pi by 2 is it okay so minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 does it make sense so we'll consider a few points here in this region right for the function and then once we have a curve here that that graph will be reflected on the y-axis and sketched on the other side that's the whole idea right so I hope you appreciate it okay so let's create a table and uh, we'll just use calculator to calculate all the values right so so we'll write theta here and calculate values write them down fine <coughs> so so the angle theta and the value of the function f of theta where the function is 1 minus sine theta so we'll start with minus pi by 2 as our first value correct now I've drawn these lines which basically gives you pi by 3 pi by 6 right so this one is uh, minus I'm writing minus pi by 3 since it's on this side right so minus pi by 6 and this will be 0 for you right and this is pi by 6 pi by 3 and pi by 2 correct so we'll have 1 2 3 4 5 6 these all these points so let's write them down so minus pi by 3 minus pi by 6 uh, 0 pi by 6 pi by 3 and pi by 2 correct so you need to use the calculator since some values will be in decimal right so so we'll now calculate these values so it is 1 minus now remember theta should be in radians all this is in radians when you use calculator make sure that you're working with radians right so sine of pi by 2 so pi divided by 2 bracket close equals to so it gives me a value as expected 0 here, right? Uh, well, I should have written minus pi by 2. Anyway, uh, we can do that now. We kind of made a mistake, okay? So let's go here. So it is actually minus pi by 2, right? So, and this is equals to 2. So we made a mistake. This should be 2. And pi by 2 we calculated. Let me write 0 here. Is that okay? Fine. So let's move on. And... Uh, Next one is pi by 3. So, so let me change this to 3 now. Minus pi by 3 to be precise. So that gives you a value in decimals as 1.86. Okay. Let's write this as 1.87. Now it is uh, minus pi by 6. And that is equal to 3, 1.5. Is it okay? Now 0. So, so let's write that also. We're doing all. So... Uh, okay, so okay, so we'll get back to z okay. Let's change this. Let me write zero. Okay, so zero equals to one. Now uh, we have to go back and type in most of the things, which is pi by six. So shift pi divided by six equals to so half, which is point five. Okay, zero point five 
and then we have uh, pi by 3 so 1 minus pi by 3 okay okay 1 minus sine pi by 3 in decimals it is 0 0.13 okay and pi by 2 we calculated by mistake in the very beginning good job so <clears throat> we get these values now so see how easy it is r equals to 1 minus sine theta we calculated the values on the right side of the y-axis and now we need to plot them right so let's plot them one by one minus pi by 2 gives us 2 so that is the value well don't go with these negative numbers here they don't have any meaning uh, when we're talking about uh, I don't know when we plot we get this anyway when we're talking about our values we are saying positive always okay for negative we have to reflect them on the other side all right so okay minus pi by 3 1.87 units so between 1 and 2 closer to 2 right so we could this 1.87 1.5 for minus this so midway so midway could be this here right so midway 1 for 0 so for 0 we have 1 and for pi by 6 it is half so pi by 6 it is half and pi by 3 it is very close to point 0.1 which is very close to 0 anyway so let's say very good close and then at pi by 2 we have a 0 so we get these points as you can see here correct connecting these points will give us the curve so should I connect it okay let's try to do it in a smooth curve so we have to just connect these points okay one shot you should get them all right that is how you get it looks like half of the heart right there okay now the other half you could do it in blue ink right now it's a good idea to reflect these along the y-axis to get your points right so that you get good points to connect is that okay so I'm just trying to get them here uh, as close as I can okay and this is common so if I connect this part it becomes like a heart do you see this that is what is called cardiac so this is what you get as the graph of the equation r equals to 1 minus sine theta so so the pole is included in this do you see that part there is no loop in it so there's a pole included in this right so that's kind of interesting because if I write some number here which is more than 1 or if I yeah then in that case you'll see a different scenario correct uh, so that'll be a different curve anyway so what you see here and realize is that to sketch polar equations find symmetry that should be the first step once you know the symmetry you have restricted the number of points you should be finding value for plot them and then use symmetry to complete your plot that should be simple I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this really helps you to understand the concept and sketch polar graphs from polar equations practice few questions from your notebook and if there are difficulties feel free to write to me thank you and all the best